I have been a nurse for almost two years, um, June 2019. So we're coming on two years. I guess you could say that I did. Um, I was a, a, a nurse attendant um, prior to becoming an RN. Um, however, I was able to get that job in the first during the first semester of nursing school. So I worked as a CNA while I was going to nursing school for around two years. So I, I a little bit, and then prior to that, even I worked at a secretary as a secretary in a dentist office. But that was as close as I got to healthcare. It, I feel like the being a CNA helped me. Once I became an RN because I was a lot more comfortable with people, especially during training. I wasn't nervous to talk to a patient because I was doing it already every single day as a CNA. Um, so it, it helped me with not being shy and being able to talk to patients confidently, which in return helped me during training because I was just more confident with my own skills overall. So I was able to just focus on learning my specialty instead of being nervous on how to talk to people which was um one of the things that i heard many of my um, classmates that were not in healthcare prior to that complain about that they were just nervous to talk to patients overall so i didn't have to struggle with that my training in the icu i would say that it was um i don't think that it was adequate to begin with um, because I only received eight weeks of training and and I was a new graduate nurse so I didn't have any prior medical like history in being like a telemetry nurse or a message nurse um, the hospital that I got trained at was a small community hospital so resources were very low however um, I just feel like I could have gotten a lot more classroom time and training like one-to-one -one, but instead I felt like I was pressured or rushed um, which was the case also with most of my co-workers that I started in my new graduate co cohort along with me I feel like all of us it was just a sink or swim situation which in which most of us swim you know some others had a tougher time but it, it, it wasn't ideal eight weeks i don't feel like is ideal to really train an icu nurse to be able to be independent on her own so i i oftentimes compare my my training that i got with um one of my classmates training he got trained at a county hospital um a much larger i must say county hospital like nothing compared to the community hospital i got trained at but he received around three months and a half of training uh, and he also received classroom training that is also to say that the hospital that he got trained at is a level one trauma center compared to my small community hospital so resources were different however now that I have talked to him I feel like he's a lot more prepared because he has had experience with so many things that I didn't up to this day still and I feel like his training was a lot more adequate than mine my preceptor she was in the com in the community hospital she was very strict uh, wonderful nurse I, I always say this up to this day I have not met a nurse that is the same as her she's very caring she has energy I do not know what how where or why she comes up with so much energy her standards are very high so it did influence me at a, a, up to a certain level very high level but just by trying to always strive to um, take action because I have seen other nurses you know other provider style where it's more reactive um, especially in the ICU where they just wait um, for the doctor to do something 
and because of the setting that I got trained in and because she was my preceptor it wouldn't be about the nurse waiting for the doctor it would be about the doc the nurse calling the doctor and requesting some orders in some instances especially when the nurse felt the urge and the need was there and even in some cases that, that they were in she was very proactive she wasn't reactive and that's something that has stuck with me until this day and I always say that that she's I got a, a marvelous experience with her she she really tried to give me as much knowledge as she could in the short window that we were given. Why we don't like to get floated to message? Um, because message is five to one for starters. And not only that, so the, 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 the problem with nursing and with specialties is that when you are in a specialty, you get in the habit of having your, your own workflow. So you are able to, okay, so by 7 a.m., so by 7.30 a.m., I have to have my assessments charted. By 7.15 a.m., I have to have my assessment on the patient done. Like, I need to know what my baseline is. And when you go into the room, and when you go into the room, um, can I pause and put her down? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like sorry she's having a, a meltdown right now oh, okay what was I saying? oh why well, okay can we start a little bit <laughs> so why do I see you I see you nurses don't like to get floated to message well the thing is that um, every nurse has in their specialty knows how to organize their time actually i feel like this that's the biggest reason um every single nurse knows how to organize her time for example in the icu i like to have my assessment to done my assessment on the patient head to toe by 7 15. that's actually the first thing that i do i go into my room i check my pumps i check my lines i check the sites if there's any wounds i check the patient really quickly head to toe i check their pupils and then by 7.30, I like to have that assessment charted because I have a short span memory. Um, and that's actually one of the reasons why I cannot be floated to message. I have a very short span memory. So if I, don't, um, if I don't write something down, right after I've done it, I've thought it, I've spoke up with somebody about it, I will forget about it. So for me, I much rather have a low ratio of patients that is very detailed because that way i like to keep track of things detail in a very detailed fashion whereas if i have because i have been floated before to message whereas if i have five patients i will go as, as far as forgetting which patient is in which room and just because i i'm not used to the amount of people like it's just it's just totally different so besides the organizational part, it's just your whole way of thinking that you have to switch. And I can do, and then another main reason why I do just really dislike my search in general um, is because patients are not on a monitor. I have had some of my co uh, classmates actually went into into message as a specialty and they have told me of instances where they have gone to check on the patient like let's say at 10 a.m. and then they go check at 12 and the patient is is dead and nobody knew and in some instances what about if the nurse is really busy and what about if the nurse cannot go into the room every two hours because that can happen what about if she goes and checks on the patient four hours later and the patient has been dead for four hours so it's just a very uh, i feel that is a more dangerous situation to be completely honest because in the icu patients are hooked up on the monitor they're 110 percent being monitored they're not even walls they would usually icus have like um transparent walls where you're able to see the patient all day long every minute you can just turn your head and the patient is right there you can see the monitor you can see their heart rate you can see their blood pressure you can see their respiration like you can see the everything you know that your patient is alive uh, although it might not look like it but he is alive 
uh, whereas in mass search you don't I, I have yeah I have heard too many cases where the patient passed away and the nurse didn't even know and in the cherry on top is that patients on on mass search floors they're awake so I mean it's good that they're healthy to be awake but the caveat with that is that when you stretch a nurse between five patients you're stretching her thin so if the patient gets confused because they just came from surgery the nurse doesn't have the luxury to just sit beside the patient to make sure that when he wakes up he doesn't fall from the bed i actually feel more unsafe in a message floor than i do in the icu and that's why i much prefer telemetry floor because at least with telemetry you can see their heart rate